Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central. Just going to give you guys a brief tour here of GDR3, aka Windows Phone 8 build 10.5.12. And that isn't the final release of GDR3, though it is the preview version that developers can now download, in which we did today. Head to Windows Phone Central if you want to see that earlier video of how we did that. It's open to the public, though. Anyone can do it. So this is a 9.25 here with GDR3. That's a 9.25 with GDR2. And, you know, probably the biggest change, of course, is when you go into the multitasking window here and you scroll over, uh, you're going to see now you get the little X there and there is a little WP Central with the icon, which is kind of interesting. And then you scroll over, you have your email and you have ringtones and sounds. And so you can basically go over and say you don't want the app anymore. It's a little funky, but you just tap the X and there goes that app. It is now gone from memory. And so you can close out games and, you know, do all that kind of stuff if you want to, for whatever reason, manage your apps. It's a simple thing, but something that a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, let's head over here into uh, settings. And we'll just go through a few of the changes. The biggest one here, ringtone sounds. Uh, we'll go into, say, text or IM and scroll up and you'll see now custom. So I can actually set, like, there's a Blackberry tone here if I wanted or pistols. <laughs> That's always a fun SMS, so I can now click and set that. So you install custom, you know, tones via the same way through a computer. You connect up, and then you just, uh, you know, add that to your system. And then you can make those uh, custom. You'll see uh, pistol shots there. You can even do that under individual contacts. So under contacts, not only can you assign the text message, but you can assign a specific custom one for that person. So I, you know, people used to generate their own with the name being announced or if you have, you know, a favorite song or whatever, you can do that. So it's kind of a cool thing there. Um, other than that, though, everything is basically the same. Uh, I'm just going to get that 925 out of here and zoom in a little bit. And so uh, themes, nope, nothing's changed there. So it's still the same theme. So that's pretty much the same. Uh, email accounts is no difference in theme with internet sharing. Lock screen is the same. Here we go. Screen rotation, though. There is that new feature. Pretty basic. Auto rotate screen. And we can turn that off and it will lock it. So when you're in like one of your other apps, um, you know, the screen won't rotate. I'm actually not a huge fan of screen rotation. So sometimes I probably will leave that off. So it locks it. Um, Wi-Fi is still standard. Some of the little descriptions have changed underneath them, which is kind of interesting. Bluetooth. Uh, there is something different under here, under Bluetooth, uh, under advanced. You can hit this. It says, uh, let me zoom in a little bit there. Uh, connect in a different way to use speech with Bluetooth in my car. Uh, basically, it says check this box if you have a hands-free system that has problems with speech recognition. So apparently it's going to switch the mode a little bit. So if you're having problems with compatibility in your car, you can check that and it should work better. So that'll be kind of interesting to test out. That is one of the big changes here. Bluetooth has gotten really overhauled with GDR3 and it should work with more cars and more devices more consistently. So that's always nice. Tap to send NFC is still the same. Airplane, cellular location, all this. Uh, here is driving mode. And so I haven't set this up yet, but we can kind of see how it works here. So driving mode is basically going to enable you to disable uh, text and in incoming calls or have an auto respond. Uh, we'll just go through the process here. So driving mode setup, if you're looking to cut down on distractions, you can turn off so you can ignore calls or ignore text. Actually, I'm okay with calls because my connection up to Bluetooth through the car and I can manage it that way, so I'm fine with that. But ignore text is pretty interesting. Hit next. And then we can automatically text replies to incoming calls, text or both. So text replies to calls, text replies to texts. So you can enable that. You can even set your message there. That's a very handy feature. So the idea here, of course, is now I'll pick which one I have it, you know, chose to. Uh, this is my car actually, hands-free link. So I'll choose that and hit next, and that is it, finish. So now when I step into my car and turn it on and the Bluetooth connects up, that is a profile specific for my car and it will do whatever it is I just enabled, which is kind of interesting. Kids Corner is the same, battery saver, uh, no different. Uh, gives you, although the battery percentage there, you know, in the, the description, which is a little bit more. Uh, phone storage should get changed a little bit. Looks the same here, but when you click phone, uh, it's gonna generate a graph here. It's actually pretty cool looking. I'll give it a second here. 
And there we go. Nice little rainbow graph there. And so it shows everything on your system. Notice how other storage is no longer detailed. Uh, so you have temporary files, which you can delete. See, that's built in now, which is kind of cool. And there's Internet Explorer settings. You can also tap each one of these, and it gives you a little bit more information. Email messaging. Uh, manage email account. So, you know, it's pretty basic. Uh, maps. Manage. You can move those to an SD card if your device supports that. Pictures. Same thing. Manage. It's probably just going to go into your camera roll, so it allows you to delete camera, uh, your photos. Uh, I have no music and videos. Oh, it has to, looks like it reset itself. Let's see what it says for apps and games. That would be kind of interesting. And that's basically it. So it does allow you to actually see the list. So it's a little rough there. They may detail that a little bit later on. And you can see there that graph is now filled up. Back update time. All this is pretty much the same. Ease of access has gotten a little bit more features. So you have text size. You have high contrast. You have the screen magnifier uh, to double tap with fingers. And to be honest, I haven't really gone through uh, most ease of access. Let's see here on this other device. I can quickly bring it up and compare those. And high contrast, screen magnifier. So things have changed a little bit. Well, it looks like the screen magnifier is still there. Speech for compatibility, mobile accessibility. So that's a little bit different. So they have improved uh, some aspects here for um, you know, people who have uh, need assistance with their phones. Uh, everything else is basically the same here. Um, then you go into the Nokia app. So that is pretty much standard. Everything still works, of course. Glance and call and SMS filter, all the Nokia stuff is still there. All these are basically the same as well. So overall, not too much uh, in the way of a lot of differences. So um, if you're wondering about the tile sizes, no, you cannot resize. Uh, you know, you basically have the same tile sizes as before. So that has not changed. Where are those, you may be asking? Well, from what we've heard is that they were testing that feature on non-1080p devices, uh, but it's been pulled uh, due to some compatibility issues. We've also heard a lot of people really liked it who are testing it, and it may come back in a later version, but don't hold us to that. It was something apparently they were experimenting with, but it's not here. It's only for 1080p and 6-inch devices, apparently. Um, other than that, though, that is Windows Phone GDR3. Pretty cool. We'll see how it goes for stability. It uh, should be better for Wi-Fi, too, including if you hard reset the device with GDR3. Uh, it will have uh, allow you to uh, enable Wi-Fi from the beginning instead of using a cellular connection, which should help if you're restoring a device. So a lot of minor little things here, but it should go a long way for usability. And it went on Central for more information. Take care, everybody.